there. Today we're going to build some GCM ST2 axles, so let's follow along. Let's take a look at the components for the ST2 axle set. We're going to have uh, diff covers, front and rear, and the four bolts that actually attach the cover. The four bolts will go through the diff into these parts here. We have a front and a rear housing. We have matching pinion gears and ring gears, bearings, the big bearing on the inside of the pinion and the small bearing on the outside of the pinion. We've got the two open bearings which go on the locker unit. In the front, the axle is the same with the same open bearings on the locker unit. And then we have, on the front, we have the inner and outer bearing for the steering knuckles and the knuckle hardware, the long axle and short axle, as well as the bearing, which goes right here on the axle seat, this bearing on this axle seat. And then there's a spare bearing and, a, and hardware. There's one spare bearing and hardware for the rear as well. These are extra. And then you have shock screws here for shock mounting. In the rear, there are outside bearings, which go right here on the axle. And then this component here, this little spacer here, this goes on the outside of the axle, like that. Just like that on the outside. And then again on this side for the opposite edge. We have a spare bearing here and then the housings will assemble with all of this hardware. We're going to start with the pinion gear and we're going to take the big bearing. We're going to put the big bearing onto the pinion gear and then we're going to put that inside the housing so it's sticking through like this okay and then we're going to put the small bearing on the outside and push that in. And push down on the inside. On the front axle, we're going to do the same thing. Big bearing, put it inside. Small bearing, and press together. We're going to make these uh, locker assemblies. This is what the finished goods look like here. And uh, pretty simple setup. You want to take all the screws out of the locker first and then drop the gear over top with the teeth down. And then uh, you're just going to put some Loctite on your screws. Some kind of thread locker goes on there. And then you can just Put that right in there, like that. And finish all those up and tighten them down. And then when you're done, you'll end up with one of these, just like that. Now when that's finished, you can take these open bearings and they're already greased and you put them over top of the locker like that. Just put them over top and they sit right down flat. 
and another open bearing for this side it sits flat like that and there is the finished locker assembly right there my favorite is the white lithium grease grab a bunch of that uh, I've got a little flat piece of styrene I used to squish it on there and just kind of go around and coat all the gear teeth with it. Lots of white grease. Pretty goopy. And then that just goes right into the axle housing that you've already assembled with the pinion bearings. And that should just drop right in there. Uh, push it in a bit and make sure the teeth are meshed. And then the case cover will go on after that. There's four mounting holes. You just line that up and it, sh it just goes right on. You can push that on by hand and then we'll uh, seal it up with the screws. Those four 16 millimeter screws, they go in from the front, from the pinion side, and you can just push that down until it hits the cover and then uh, tighten that up. And they're plastic parts, remember, so just push it in and tighten that up until the, the gap is gone. The gap between the cover and the housing. You just need that gap right there to go away, that's it. So you tighten that up and uh, you'll see that the screw head will um, make contact with the housing. No more gap right there and that's it. We're done. Add the other three screws and uh, watch out for that gap and finish it up. I'm gonna finish up this rear axle here. We have the caps off. We took the caps off of here and then uh, that's gonna go on there with the small screws. So we'll put the drive axle in first like that and then over here we're going to take the wheel bearing put the wheel bearing on put the cap over top and then put in the small screws the small screws are going to go in these little end holes like that and pull that out and then this collar goes over the axle like that And then the same on the other side. Bearing, cover, little tiny screw. We'll finish up the front axle. We're gonna take the long side and put the bearing over top of the long side. And then this is going to go in the long side of the axle here. Like that. And then the short side, short side here, bearing. short side will go in and then we're going to do the knuckles so the way to do the knuckles is take this 
put it on the inside. This one goes on the outside. And then this whole thing goes over the axle like this. And the arm goes with the track bar up. The arm goes up to with the track bar. Now these screws, you're going to get this little brass and the short screw and put it over top like this. Like that. And then that is going to go in the top of the knuckle. Like that. And then the bottom one. Same thing. So now you've got the knuckle and do the same thing on this side. So the front is done now as well and this side will have the tie bar that goes across and then this side will have the tie bar in the center and the steering push rod above it and it matches the same angle as the track bar. So the track bar mount and the steering mount are in parallel like that. So that means the track bar goes that way and the steering bar goes that way. And there we have it. There's the front axle build. These two screws right here are actually for the shock mounts and they go right inside there like that. So when you put your tiny shocks in there that's where they would go. And on the rear the small shock screws for the rear would go into these exterior, these outside holes here, out by the bearing cover, like that. That's where they go, out there. Uh, different axle types have different mounts. Some of them have mounts on the sides or the back or the outsides. So take a look at those. Watch out for these falling out all the time until you get your wheel hexes on. Sometimes you can put a piece of tape on it to hold those in. And so there is a front and a rear axle. These are for actually for our C-Max 2 Rover chassis. And, uh, but we have leaf spring mounts as well as skeleton mounts and all kinds of other stuff for C-Max 2 as well. So there's lots of axles around. And uh, there you go. Congrats on your build.